Hello friends and greetings for the day. Welcome back to another tutorial on ISTGB Advanced Level Test Management Certification. We are in chapter 2 talking about managing the product and today we shall be stepping into the next segment that is 2.2 Test Estimation and as a part of it the very first sub-segment we are covering today is 2.2.1 Estimating what test activities uh, what activities testing will involve and we'll try to understand what it takes to do the estimation uh, for a test project altogether and how exactly the different factors would influence the same. To begin with, of course, uh, in our foundation level, we have already discussed uh, a bit about test estimation. We have told you what estimation is all about. At the same time, we have discussed the various techniques which gets applied, be it about metric based or be it about export based techniques. We have discussed how exactly to evaluate them and what it takes for a test manager to perform the required amount of estimation. At the same time, we would like to quickly remind you estimation is basically an answer to the question, how much testing would be enough for a particular project? And that's where a test manager looks forward to evaluate every single information related to the test activities throughout the testing lifecycle and look forward to estimate the various factors, including the time, cost, and effort involved in performing them. And that is what in turn gives me the overall test estimation within a particular project. With that particular context being discussed, let's get into the details of it and try understanding this introductory topic, but that what exactly it takes to perform the test estimation for the activities of the testing. So to begin with, of course, the test estimation is a test management activity that estimates how much time, effort, and cost a task will take to complete the estimation is one of the major and important tasks in the test management and indeed why it shouldn't be important because in ultimately at the end of the day these are the activities or this is the activity which would return us the numbers which we are projecting to the entire management that this is what the amount of testing we would have to do and this is how we will achieve the quality of the product if the number goes up and down here and there Certainly, we may be a remarkable person in that particular conversation that we were not effective with our particular estimations. So it certainly involves a lot of key factors to be taken into account. At the same time, several considerations to be taken into account before we can actually give the numbers for the estimation. In order to talk about it further, of course, the main characteristics of the estimation in the test management are the effort, which is usually calculated in person hours, or story points required to finish project test tasks. Often test effort and test duration can be different and the test management may need to estimate the total duration of the activity, which in turn, how many person hours will it take will be all about. So indeed, the effort is something which is very important for to be, uh, to be calculated as a part of the estimation. And this reflects the number of person hours what we would be consuming to perform the required amount of testing on a particular project. On the other hand, we of course have the next element, which is time. And that is to discuss on what is the time required to finish the project. The time is certainly a critical resource in a project. The test planning needs to estimate the test effort in calendar days and in working days. Every project has milestones and a deadline for delivery. So it basically asks the question, how long will it take to finish the test project? So one is certainly the efforts what we'll be putting up. It is in terms of number of person days or person hours. Again, person hours for the effort should not be considered as the time. Here we mean what is the amount of work to be done? Okay, amount of work means number of test cases, proportionate amount of testing, what kind of defects will be identified, how much, again, effort it would take to uh, meaningfully resolve them. And at the same time, there would be enough amount of regression being conducted. Whereas time is more on the time scale, which is the duration of the test activities. And finally, the third element is the cost, which is the budget. Of course, we say cost is the budget of the project and it includes the expenses for the test resources, the tools and infrastructure, which basically answers the question, what would be the test project cost? Indeed, not only the efforts on the time, which is important for us, but also there are many other activities like hiring the resources, setting up the infrastructure, procuring the required tools to perform these test activities would also involve, invite a lot of cost. So put together, including every single thing, we would also calculate the required cost involved in the various test activities which we are organizing and conducting towards a project. So at the end, we can say that 
Test estimation is basically to estimate the cost, time and effort related to each and every test activity which we are conducting. So a test manager has to be someone very experienced to understand how these estimations are conducted and certainly have to have the experience from the past projects that what common mistakes we do with respect to estimations and be careful with considering those factors in the upcoming projects. In fact, this estimation can have several techniques which we'll talk down the line and these techniques would be more from the perspective of making sure the mistakes and human error are avoided or prevented altogether in order to make an effective test estimation. Also to add further to this discussion, we have few more pointers to take into account. That is testing is often a sub project within a large project, sometimes distributed over several test locations as well. To perform test estimation, the first step is to identify the test levels, the various test activities and detailed test task. Next, we divide the testing project into main testing activities like the major phases of testing lifecycle within the test process like test planning and test execution. So we will have to take every single detail into account. So say it's just not about performing the required test activities which can be observed as writing test cases, executing test cases, reporting defects, tracking them, getting them resolved, performing retesting, regression testing. Quite often we think about this. But being a test manager, we do consider what kind of communication protocol would be used, how much time we will spend in doing the documentation. So the journey starts with breaking down this big chunk of work into a simplified set of activities. And these activities can further be broken down into key test tasks. And as we start estimating each and every task, we can certainly get the summarize and roll up data for what would be the overall test activity or the test process altogether and then for the entire testing project. Further to add here, of course, in agile software development projects, testing activities are estimated often within the development work and not as a separate value. The test step is to estimate the test effort required to finish the test task or the work product and what the expected cost are from this. So of course, uh, the Agile works in a little different principle. Here, the estimations are done by the whole team as we work on a whole team approach. So the test efforts would be a part of a story estimation. So we as a team look forward to gather together and then estimate it as a single unit that, okay, what would we take in order to work on this story in terms of design, development, and testing? So the team has to contribute from their perspective that, okay, we would need at least two points to work on this or at least three points to work on this. Also to add here, we will have, uh, because testing is a sub activity of a project, there are always some natural project constraints that would influence it mm -hmm. and require compromise. And we cannot manipulate these values arbitrarily. So that can be found in the quality management as the time cost quality triangle. So it's, it's just that simple to understand that no matter how much ever we try our level best, we would have things which would always come as an unforeseen situation to increase the time, increase the effort or increase the cost as well. And what is this basically to be considered by the test manager is to have some kind of buffer into account so that they can handle these constraints which appear on the way. What kind of constraints are we referring to? We're talking about any kind of additional work, unnecessary defects detection, or too many defects identified, and then be prepared for that. Similarly, if we talk about the change request, which appears in the Agile development model, so a customer can bring up a lot of new changes, and we must be prepared for handling those as well. Because we may not just say that, okay, we plan for something what we already knew, and we don't have any room for accommodating any additional request. So this is what we call it as a cost time effort triangle. Basically, it represents a physical triangle where if one thing gets disturbed, the other things also get suggested according to that. So say, for example, if the test effort increases, the time required to do that would increase and in turn, it would also increase the cost of doing it, right? So that's what the cost time effort triangle means. And also, finally, to add here, in project management, the time cost, uh, time cost quality triangle comprises of three values at the interdependent and meaning they are closely connected and influence each other. These relationship is commonly observed in the project scenarios. So that's what exactly I was trying to say that they are closely interconnected to each other. Any one being disturbed will disturb the other two element as well. So here the th third thing is of course the quality. If we compromise on the cost or the con uh, time will certainly have impact on the quality. If you can do better with the cost and time, or we have significant amount of budget or time allocated, 
you can certainly do better quality in a particular product. So put together estimation introduction certainly includes those factors to be discussed and understood by the test manager, which are important to be taken into account to start working on the test estimation. So that's all from this particular tutorial team. Should you have anything else, feel free to comment below. I'm always there to address your queries and answer them well. Till then, keep learning, keep exploring, keep understanding the context. Thanks for watching the video team and happy learning. Thank you.